Today, Temba decided to wash his sweatshirt. And seconds after he stepped into the laundry room, he shouted to his wife, what setting do I use on this washing machine? It depends, Zoto replied. What does it say on your shirt? And Temba responded, University of Cape Town. Good evening and welcome to Talk with Rems Live. Thank you for choosing to join us. This is, as you know, the most powerful 30 minutes of digital content you can ever find. If you don't believe me, ask around. We are on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and you can also find us on YouTube. On all platforms, it is Talk with Rems. It is Opportunity Tuesday, that time of the week when we present you with a gift that could change your business forever. Tonight, we present the Tafari app, a fully integrated digital finance and e-commerce platform. But more about that later. As usual, we start with an SME, a company that's doing great stuff and can use a bit of our support, at least in terms of publicity. And tonight on the quickie, we meet Leo Oka, a multidisciplinary engineering and project management company. And I'm joined by a managing director of the company, the man who's working hard as if there is no COVID, and I'm glad for that. Good evening, my brother. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me, Mr. Rams. You well? I'm very well, thanks. Uh, tough times, but at least health-wise, we're good. And you had to put the Leoka tree behind you right there. Oh, huh? uh, no, no, we must, uh, Mr. Rams. This is, uh, image is everything. Uh, your yes. reputation and image are everything. I couldn't agree more. Tell us more about Leoka. When were you guys established and how? Yeah, I'd say um, Leoka is a very young company. Uh, we've been in existence for just under five years. And <clears throat> it was actually uh, born out of my interest in engineering. I've, so just a bit of background about myself. I'm a mechanical engineer with a lot of years behind my back uh, in uh, mechanical engineering, project engineering and design of process plants in the mineral space. Yeah. So obviously I needed to sharpen my trade a bit. So I spent over 16 years uh, in industry before I decided to take this route. Uh, you need to get some respect in the market before you can go out and venture by yourself. And uh, so about three, four years ago, I decided to, to take the big lunge. And uh, fortunately there were a few people who believed in us and they gave us an opportunity. And here we are today, I uh, started off in consulting just on engineering and design. Uh, we started to venture out into uh, operations. We, we've got something happening at the airport. Um, so we're trying to diversify our offering uh, to our clients at this stage, yeah. What makes you special? And that's a positive question. <laughs> um, I think I'm a people's person. I'm a man of my word. I mean, uh, Leoka in this case. Now let's talk the company. What makes Leoka oh. special? Leoka, Leoka delivers when it promises. Leoka really? delivers when it promises. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what makes us special. We, we don't shy away from, from a challenge. And I think our job is really to make our clients' lives a lot easier. Mm. So if you are having an issue in whatever factory, plant, underground, our job is to take it away from you and make it our problem. So you can focus on what you are best at, which is to operate and run your facility. You operate in an industry that is historically white Africans made. It can be easy. Uh, that's very true, Rams. Uh, but we try not focus on that a lot. I think I always have a saying that we are, we happen to be a black owned company. And that has always been my selling point as well as an engineer. Um, back in the day, it was tough uh, entering the industry in the early 2000s, mm -hmm. but as long as you keep your mind open and you, you create the networks black or white, uh, then, you, then you, you do have a, a, a good chance of succeeding. However, um, the challenges have not been small uh, by any chance, yeah. but we've, we've, we've learned to navigate our way around them. I look at some of the, the clients that you guys have enlisted since you started. I mean, XR or Anglo Platinum, you know, Royal Bafouquin, or Tambo, International Airport. 
these are not small by any, uh, you know, any imagination. It, but it can also be easy to secure such such accounts. No, 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 that's not easy. Um, I think you, you must have a never say that attitude. Uh, I think we must also not discount the fact that networks play a big role in, 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 in pushing business. Mm. So <clears throat> if you carry a, a good name as a company or as a person, it goes a long way, especially if you're a new entrant in any market, whether it's engineering or marketing or any other industry. Yeah. So your, your, your reputation uh, precedes you a lot. And um, so, yeah, cracking the market has not been easy. We're still, we're still fighting to stay in the market. We're still fighting to get a bigger slice of the blue chip companies. But we're quite happy with what we've achieved so far. How big are you? And I'm not talking 10 over. Don't do it. I don't want to know about 10 over. But human resources. Okay. We... <laughs> Well, before COVID, to, or after COVID. Tell about turnover, by the way. Look, I want mine. <laughs> we, <laughs> no, we, sure. We started off three years ago, well, four years ago, one person. Uh, we grew rapidly. Uh, we're sitting at 100 people plus. Wow. However, um, COVID has played its hand, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but we have not, uh, at least to our credit, really reduced our numbers. Uh, we do have a challenge, especially in the aviation space at the airport, uh, understandable, but uh, we are on the way to recover as soon as our president opens the borders again. Yeah, we don't know when that is going to happen. So what's the plan though? You know, let's discount COVID, let everything yeah. be equal for the next two minutes. What's happening yeah. in the next five, 10 years of Leoc? Well, uh, there's big things in the pipeline. Um, some of it is, I don't want to give away our game, uh, a bit too yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, no game. Um, yeah. But hurt my <laughs> appetite. We, yeah. Uh, look, we've uh, we've seen there is a gap in the market for a small medium enterprise that happens to be black. The the big companies are sitting in the upper echelons. The smaller companies don't have the capacity or capability. So we we are building our, our capability and we're trying to keep up with technology. So one thing we are very cautious about is not jumping onto the four IR band <laughs> wagon too quickly. Uh, and having a, a nice mixture of old school, if you have to call it, as well as the, the new modern way of operating. Um, we think it's good. We believe it's going to pay dividends uh, as we go forward. So we, we're looking into the digital market, uh, digital engineering, trying to offer faster solutions uh, at, a, at a much more competitive price to our clients. It is not much of a choice, is it? I mean, that's where everybody has to go. No, correct. But I think at the same time, clients are willing to pay for value. Mm. Uh, as long as you're delivering quality and you're delivering it ahead of time. I think at the moment, if you look at any operation, especially in the mining sector, every second loss, there's a lot of money. So if you are able to deliver to a client, even if you're a bit of a premium, if you can deliver a quality product on time or ahead of schedule, you're a winner. And, and I think that's what we're going to focus on instead of being in a price war with our competitors. I don't know a, a thing. I mean, I don't even know 1% about your, your business, nor the industry that you, you operate in. However, I'm a, I'm a victim of what I read and hear about. Is the mining industry still a well to dig into and still be happy to, to buy a coffee tomorrow? If you know where to look. I think if, if you're an outsider coming in and you've never been in the industry and you really don't understand that dynamics, I would not say you would know where the opportunities are. Uh, we've been in this game for a long, a long time. Even the, my colleagues, I don't call them my employees, my colleagues have been in the game for quite a while. We know where the opportunities lie. And at this stage, there are no large capital projects in the country. We call them greenfield projects, where you're building a new mine, for example. There's very few and far between. And you need to find the offshoots, which is where the clients are trying to keep their operations going optimally. So there's, there'll always be work. It's about where to look and uh, <clears throat> understanding what the client needs are. Um, then, then at least you've got a, a winning edge. There is always somebody who is powerful, who is influential, who, who is doing something that is up your road, who is watching as we speak. Yes. How do they get hold of Leo and give you the business uh, that they've always given to the old guys and now they need the new blood with amazing energy. 
We we are available. We are on LinkedIn. If you search Leoka Engineering, you pop up. It's the first word that comes up. Our website is quite simple. It's www.leoka.co.za. We have not been very active in the digital space, um, and that's that's really a deliberate uh, strategy. We just wanted to build ourselves into something we can be reckoned with before we can come in a public. Yeah, it can I'm be not shocked about that. It can be tough in the Twitter streets. So. You, you are engineers, I'm not shocked about that. That's not your space. However, I suppose you, <laughs> you, you need people who will help you to play in the space so that you stay visible. You know, that's where the world is. You can't stay out of that world. Correct, yeah, I think marketing is definitely, definitely a new thing um, that we need to focus on as engineers in general. I'm not just talking about myself uh, yeah, or no. our company, yeah. Trust me, I, I understand. I, uh, <clears throat> I speak to engineers, lawyers and medical doctors and, uh, Actuaries, and I know that uh, marketing is still a strange world to you, but what you do is very important. And I thank you so much for this time. And I wish you all the best, Katle. <clears throat> uh, Ramza, thank you for the time you've afforded us. And I hope that somebody out there is watching us and give us a when, when, when COVID is behind us, Freddie and I and the crew will come and bring cameras and do a much better uh, profile from, from where you guys work and see how we can promote you even more. Oh, we love that. Well, you're more than welcome. I've got lots of ginger tea for you. So. Ah, excellent. Excellent. My favorite, especially with a bit of whiskey. Have a great night, my brother. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you very much for the time. Thank you very much. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we then talk to Dr. Tabul Shokwe of Tafari Capital. We know it's a tough time for all entrepreneurs. So let's lend a hand. Talk with Rams Live gives you an opportunity to advertise your business. Send us a 60-second video describing your cool. business to 067-271-8239. Good talk freely. Good day, my name is well done. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can anyone. Everyone, this is Hi, my name is Alon Reza. Or else, Uzoi We know it's a tough time for all entrepreneurs. So let's lend a hand. Talk with you know, I, I would not want to give an impression to people there that you're doing soda as a part-time thing. You're doing it as a hustle because you, you are still growing, but ultimately you want it to be your, your main hustle. Yes, we officially, start, we, we only about a year old. We officially started yeah. a year ago and yeah. we're still working on, on, on we're investing on, on, on machinery. We need machines to, to, to clean up diamonds. We're still waiting for the license because we apply for the diamond license. So it's, it's still a profit. We're still on, on baby steps to growing. But we, we, the reason why I'm working in eight to five is because I need a whole lot of equipment for me to start a manufacturer. Good day, Rams. I would like to take this opportunity to say my gratitude to you and your team on Talk With Rams Live for giving me a chance to say something about my jewelry brand called Soda by Bonnet. I have since been contacted by a fashion designer from Durban who does annual fashion shows and asked me to showcase my work on his fashion shows, which is not going to be a one-off thing, but it's going to be an annual thing. For me, that's one of my biggest dreams come true it has always been something that i had always dreamt of doing it has always been a door that i had always dreamt of knocking on but it's also one of the hardest doors to open for you having me in your show the door has opened you had made my dream come true also i have nine big orders that i'm working on ever since i had been on your show what you had done for me has given me so much confidence. It has given me so much confidence in what I do, in the love I have for what I do, and so much confidence all together. It has helped me grow. It's helping me look forward to growth. It's helping me look forward to, to, to so much more than what I had anticipated. I would like to say thank you to you, to Freddie and all your team, and say thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> I love that interview with uh, Katleho, and I love the business that they're in. Now, Tafari Capital, a black-owned fintech startup, has announced the launch of its locally developed, fully integrated digital finance and e-commerce platform, the Tafari app. The app offers free personal and business accounts that allows 
users to uh, build an online store where they can sell their products and services. Joining me to tell us more about the Tafari app and how it will help your hustle to grow better is Chairman and Dr. Tabo Nisho. Okay. Uh, where should you mean? Uh, who's on that? Who is it? Oh, I'm sorry, 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 i am and he was going to build stuff and stuff, and you never gave up. And here we are today. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so before we talk about the app, tell us about Tafari. Who is Tafari? OK. Um, Tafari is, I could even call it a broad-based, Black-owned business, fintech company. Um, we started out, fun enough, uh, it started out as uh, in, in WhatsApp, you know, where, where, where people are complaining about lack of services in the financial services space. And we always talk about all sorts of different things. And then we, we, we a group of us decided to, okay, fine, enough about complaining about who's not doing this, who's not doing that. What are you or us going to do about it? So four years ago, we decided to, okay, fine. Now we have to do something about this. And then we embarked on this journey, uh, which has been very difficult, but uh, here we are today. And, and I mean, I can, I can also indicate to you that it started out as 20, uh, about 23 people. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we then opened it up, and now we have about 80, 80 entities that are involved, which is individuals, stockfills, trusts, and small investment companies. That's why I'm saying it's quite broad-based in terms of its structure. Although there's 80 units, but there's more than 80 people involved in it. And we are so still all opening. These, all these 80 Sorry. units, are they shareholders in this business? Shareholders, yes, they are all shareholders. Um, okay. That's why I'm saying that there's some shareholders that are individuals, others came in with trusts, others with the stockfell groups. By the way, stockfells are mm -hmm. shareholders of Tafari. Um, we also have some that came in through their companies. And, and we're still open because at the end of the day, it's about getting black people to put in their money where their mouths are and to mm -hmm. become part of something. They must create it. You know, they mustn't wait for somebody else to do it for them. And that, I think, is one of the things we are trying to, to do here at Tafari, where we put our money down and we say, we're going to do something about this. And the name Tafari, what's it? <laughs> you know, Tafari was, when it was born, it was born as a, as a, it's a global idea. It's an emerging market play, but it has its roots in Africa. And, you know, uh, as we were sitting, we, we, we kind of thought of, we had to decide on a name that, in a sense, Rastafari, everybody knows Tafari, Rastafari, right? Yes. He who is awesome. And, and, and it came up for a Norman, look, if we pick up this name, we, we would associate it with it. We know what Tafari is. It's not a new name. People in the West Indies, there's black people out there. They would recognize this because, at the end of the day, this is about putting together the African people and diaspora and trying to harness all those resources and make them create assets that can be intergenerational in nature. I have had numerous conversations with you. Uh, can, I could mm -hmm. never count them. And one of the things that we always speak about, uh, you and I, uh, there is absolutely no reason. There is no rationale for business without markets. And I think that this app we're going to talk about is part of the reason we are here. Tell us about the app, Dr. Litok. Okay, so when we, when, we, when we set up, when we decided on the app, we, we had to decide what is it that we are trying to do. So we identified a couple of gaps. And these are major problems as we see them. And one of them is access to uh, financial inclusion. And I'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about that. But also it's access to markets and what I would call opportunity creation. 
because you'll find that there's a lot of small businesses that have got products and services, but they don't have markets, you know, and they don't have mm. markets. And, and part of that in this day and age is that a lot of people do not have the resources to build their own apps, point number one. Yeah. And also, even if they do have websites, most of the websites are not transactional in nature. Okay, so so we decided to one way that we can contribute towards access to markets is to enable uh, to build a platform that will enable people to trade with each other. And therefore, instead of trading, well, what then happens is that you when you open a Tafari account, uh, you will get um, a free personal and depending whether you want to do business, you also get a free business account. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we give you access to the ability to open your online store, and that is also free. Okay, basic free. online store. Yeah. So where where you can then put up your products and services that you are selling, and you take pictures of them, and then you put them there, you price them, and then you say, guys, I'm ready to sell. And people will then be able to buy from you. Now, the one thing that is good about what Tafari is bringing to the table is that you don't have to design anything at this point. Once you build your store and you press click and the thing is online, you can accept payments, you can pay. People can buy your products and services. All you have to do now is to make sure that you deliver what you promise. Mm. So at the end of the day, we are creating a platform that 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 com that uh, um, combines buyers and sellers, and and when I talk about buyers and sellers, this is this is a major difference in thinking because this is not about um, just uh, uh, we're talking uh, bringing in other service providers. So although we are offering a, a solution that has got some where you can create your own account and you can store money there and you can buy things. For example, some of the things that you can also buy on the platform would be your, your usual stuff, your, your electricity, your, your, your airtime, your data, your Loto, your DSTV, you can top it up. So in this time of COVID, one of the things that it can do is to allow you to be able to buy all these things without having to go anywhere. You can just open up your app, and buy them. And this, by the way, is for those people that currently don't have um, what you call it, bank accounts with, uh, with, uh, with, with the apps that go with them. So if you don't have that, Jafari will enable you to be able to buy that airtime, to buy the, uh, um, the electricity um, uh, throughout the country, by the way. We, we connected with all the, uh, the different um, uh, operators, uh, the electricity, the municipalities, ESCOM, you name it. You can top up with your DSTV. You can even buy the lotto. You I don't even... need to leave my house. Of course not. And that's the whole idea, right? We give you now the ability when you are sitting at home, you don't have to go to the store to go buy airtime. And uh, okay, there's other people in the upper middle class or, or so who can do those, who can do that from their current banking apps, but those that don't have those banking apps, what do they do? Now, now practically, and you know, electricity, DSTV, all those things sound easy, but if Freddie is producing product, sweaters, whatever, you know, sneakers, and he puts the product on the app and I buy, how does it get to me? What happens that, are you also involved in that value chain? Okay, so, so and this is part of the beauty of what we're doing. Um, what we're doing is that we, 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 are, we, we, we bring people together. We create opportunities for others. So, so there will be other people that are couriers, for example, and it's their business. We yes. and will encourage them to come onto the platform and advertise their services. You know that this is what we do. Um, uh, we, we, we are able to courier uh, products from point A to point B. And even, even in, the, in, the, in a local setting, and, and I always uh, think that some people, when you talk e-commerce, they think you're talking and SMEs, they think you're talking formal businesses. I'll give you a couple of examples. Let's take an example of a plumber or a gardener or a lady who sells 
the products by the by the street corner or a guy okay mm. what we do is if you are selling vegetables let's start with the lady who sells vegetables now if the the lady is now part of the fire what what will then happen is that she can take photos of the, the cabbage the uh, you know mukopu and, and those things take photographs of them and then put them onto the store okay and then price them and be able to price them now when 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 uh, they are now on the store i'll be sitting at home and i want to buy uh, my vegetables for sunday or for any other day i can go onto the store and i can check who is selling these things in my area i can geolocate it i can be able to tell or in my area i've got so many people that are able to sell these many products and therefore i will then be able to to and to pick up on one open the store and pick the products that i need and then and then press buy now what we've also done is that we've created uh, inside the the the, uh, the app a facility which is called an escrow facility mm -hmm. and this is about bringing trust because right, i may buy something from you and then you, what you send to me is not what i what i bought right yeah so in this case and that's linked, I, that's, that's linked to a question that i have for you from one of the viewers but i'll get to that question finish what you say so, yeah. so what happens now is that i buy the product and then i pay into my escrow account into your escrow account as the as the seller so what then happens is that you will see that tabo actually has paid the money has left his account it's sitting in a in another account which is called the escrow account then it, it gives me the confidence to then provide my service because or the product in this case the vegetables now in the area there's usually could be a few other people that are unemployed you know and we can then begin to create opportunities for them also to become local couriers you know mm. where people can actually take stuff and buy and and hand it over to mematabo who is at home who is unable to come out okay so so we enable people then to create jobs whether by walking or whether it's bicycles scooters you name it so even at a micro level at a local level you are able to that lady at the corner now creates an extended business or micro business around her that takes her products to their people and then only when i get to 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 mematabo there and i shall or no these are the things that i ordered and they click pay then the money leaves the escrow account and that's it the transaction is done great stuff so uh, uh, events was asking about the delivery now we've got that covered but there's another question which i found very interesting and i must find that question it says from bernard baloy he says how can someone differentiate between quick schemes like triple m whatsapp groups uh, you know those stock fairs etc and tafari uh, as many corrupt as, as, uh, as there's so much corruption taking place in our beloved society am i sure when i make this transaction that uh, Dr. Tabulus, we're going in the middle. There is not going to steal my money. And both the the supplier and me, the buyer, we are we get we get to lose in the process. You know, you know, our business is built, and its reputation will be built on trust. Yeah, and we understand that. Um, uh, you know, these are the things that are happening. So, what we have decided to do, firstly, is that um, we we. In fact, I mean, it's through no fault of our own. We have applied to become an authorized financial services provider. So that's the first mm. thing. We've applied for that. And it's unfortunate that uh, a process that's supposed to take three months to nine months, and it's still ongoing. <laughs> so we're hoping that uh, we should be able to tick that, 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 uh, that thing quickly, which means then we would have been vetted and they will know that indeed Tabo are providing a proper service to the people and therefore they can be given uh, the, the tick that yes, indeed, they are a valid business. Uh, and we, we think that's quite important as well. But also some of the things that we are talking about, when I, when I, when I talk about the things like escrow, when you talk about people that get onto the platform being verified, entities being verified, there will be a verification tick. There will be people that will give uh, um, 
not not references but uh, recommendations that will actually yeah. say Tabo is actually doing the job that he's saying he can do and so forth. The only challenge can always be, and you know, there's always people who are going to try their luck. But you know, we built a software um, to become ex highly secure. And I mean, uh, so so if if we are able to see that somebody is trying to scam people onto our platform and so forth, then clearly we want to out that person because nobody comes into the platform. And this is important. We verify every person that will come into the platform to become a seller, for example. You have to yeah. undergo, you have to undergo, um, uh, you know, uh, verification. We need your ID, you need your company details and everything else for the stuff that you have to do to verify them and make sure that indeed you are who you say you are. You know, there's, there's, there'll be FICA for sellers. Yeah, on okay, platform. so we, 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 we're running out of time. So how do then these people that we're speaking to, all these entrepreneurs listening to us and all these, uh, you know, hustlers, uh, street sellers, everybody else, and me as a buyer, because that's all I am, how do we get into the platform? Okay, so at, at this point right now, as we speak, if you go to our website, uh, tafari, uh, tafari .co tafari capital .co the first thing you'll come across, it will say pre-register, right? Um, so, so you click there, you put in your details, you indicate if you've got your company, you put in your, I, your, 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 your cell phone number, you will get a, um, you will get a one-time password for verify indeed that the number that you put in there Right number because if you put a, a wrong number then you won't be registered you know yeah. um so that's also another way of certifying that the people that come onto the platform are the correct people so once that is there then they register in about in a couple of days we'll be able to open it up for the beta the beta testers uh so and then that they they will then be able to do everything that everyone will do um but it's only open for a few people just to, you know, just to test in the wild how it's going to do. Um, and, then, and then around the 15th or so, between the 10th and the 15th, we'll open it up to everyone. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So, so it will be, it, it will be, uh, it's very close. It's very soon uh, available uh, to the market. Um, and, and in the meantime, I mean, if everybody needs to know more about us, they must go to our website, like I said, they can engage with us on, on Facebook. It's Tafari Capital SA, Twitter, the same thing, Tafari Capital SA, or even LinkedIn, it's Tafari Capital SA. So we are Excellent. open and we are ready to go. Thank you so much, Dr. Tavo Lishokwe. I'm so grateful to have had you. I'm happy that we have reached this point finally. Congratulations, Tafari Capital, and we're looking forward to engaging through this app. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to all of you. But before I leave you, do you know your customers? Well, I don't actually. Coach Tammy Banda says there are four types of customers. And he says we fail to serve our customers because we don't differentiate our customers. He's joining us tomorrow evening on Wisdom Wednesdays to teach us about the four types of customers and how to do customer service with them. Right here on Talk with Rams Live. Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for trusting us with your patronage. From me, Rems Mavote, good night and God bless.